And instead of name tags, I commissioned a silhouette artist to do a silhouette of every guest that we'll have. This will just be perfect for our 42 guests. I've got my coordinated but not matchy-matchy napkins that I'm gonna fold in the bishop. This is the tail end of that pesky flu that's going around. The neighbors got it, you know, and I wanted to take care of them, so. Back off, I'm clean. No, I'm kidding, I'm fine. But yeah, I still wanted to host, of course. I mean, I didn't want anybody else to feel like they had to do it for goodness sake. <laughs> this cranberry jelly I made myself. It's been in my root cellar for six months. It's infused with thyme and lemon salt. These pumpkins came from my garden, and the nutmeg I used came from my monthly herb subscription box. It's fresh, straight from India. Instead of a traditional place setting, which has just been done to death, I like to put a plant that represents the spirit of each guest in front of their plate. This one is going in front of Grandma's seat. It's an eternity plant because she's been alive like forever. This prickly, sort of decaying, succulent plant is my cousin Evan. Look, I'm very sorry that Aunt Susan had a house fire, but is it really necessary to have Thanksgiving here at my home? The perfect accessory for every Thanksgiving table. The proper temperature for poultry is 180. I don't take a bite until I know I'm not gonna get food poisoning. Yeah, I'd like to speak with the fire chief, please. I just wanna make sure you guys have a full staff on Thanksgiving, right? Happy turkey day to you too, gobble, gobble. <laughs> we got pie face. Connect four, oldie but a goodie. I mean, last year I came up with this drink called Plymouth on the Rocks. Two parts whiskey, two parts rum, one part fireball! I always cut the turkey. I do it better than anyone. Therefore, I will not surrender this particular Thanksgiving task. For some reason, they didn't sit me next to Uncle John again, which is crazy because we have the best political debates. I look forward to that every year. Apparently last year, somebody cried. If you can't talk about politics with your family, what can you talk about? Political discourse is the backbone of this country and therefore should be a part of every family conversation. Hashtag stirring the pot. Hashtag stirring the mashed potatoes. <laughs> The thing to remember about Thanksgiving is that arguments can start at any time. There's politics, for goodness sake, there's Grandpa Wilbur's estate this year to go over. Uh, Uncle Brian forgot his side dish and now we don't have a vegetable. Someone developed a gluten allergy and didn't tell me. But this year I have a really good strategy. When things start to heat up, I have a way to cool it right down. We are the world. We are the children. We are the ones to make a brighter day, so let's start giving.